you understand? Hey everybody, I'm Tony Jones, and welcome to the Tony Jones Show. Uh, this is not enough. People are willing to take the risk. It's just sort of a, uh, a herd mentality, a lemming-like mentality. If you don't go with the flow, you're anti-American and therefore a suspect. The Tony Jones Show, featuring punk, rockabilly, psychobilly, and Providence, Rhode Island's finest, starts right now. He's a dangerous militia member, I hear. Oh, and there she blows. <laughs> Friends, the time for mediocrity and broadcasting is over. My name is Tony Jones, and you are tuned into the Tony Jones Show, your destination for talk and a rock. Online at TonyJones.org. On Facebook, it's Facebook.com slash Tony Jones Show. On the almighty Twitter at Tony Jones in RI, of course, if you're catching us live. Be sure to check in with me on all the social media accounts throughout the broadcast. And if you're listening in podcast form and a replay, I thank you for tuning in. We're going to play the best rock and roll around tonight and we're also going to talk to the boys from shore city we kicked things off with one of my favorite bands and then i forgot that they were one of my favorite bands and then there was a cd laying in the studio today and i remembered hey that's one of my favorite bands we just heard from electric frankenstein social infections the name of that one if you're not familiar with electric frankenstein do yourself a favor if you're a punk rock fan if you're a horror punk fan google them immediately and just check out the huge catalog of music out there from electric frankenstein who i believe are still going to this day and again as i as i like to mention one of the best things about having your own radio show your own show your own podcast tv show whatever it may be is that you get to play whatever the heck you want and chances are 
You're not going to hear much Electric Frankenstein anywhere else but here on the Tony Jones Show. And uh, we're going we're gonna to get them into regular rotation here. And I'm going to go through. I have some really old, obscure Electric Frankenstein, like stuff on cassettes and all that. So we're going to go through that. So be, be expecting to hear much Electric Frankenstein right here on the Tony Jones Show. And a little piece of trivia, the, the original name for Tony Jones and the Cretan Three was going to be Frankenstein Jones, but we thought it sounded too much like Electric Frankenstein, so for some weird reason we became Tony Jones and the Cretan Three instead. So now you know how much I love Electric Frankenstein. But I digress because, more importantly, in studio with me is the boys from Shore City. Gentlemen, good evening. What's up, Tony? Get right oh, into those luxurious on? microphones for me. Squeeze, squeeze right in. Are we good? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm in. Picture, How we picture you're, you're in Catholic school and there's a nun behind you whacking you on the back of the head to get you to the microphones. <laughs> get away, <laughs> bitch. <laughs> Sounds like every night. <laughs> I know people that pay good money for that. <laughs> so, Shore City, online at facebook.com slash Shore City Music. Look for the big kahuna flyer. Yes. And that's where you'll find Shore City. So, tell us... Because, Mike, you were on the show in the past, kind of doing more of a ska-type roots thing, but Shore City, very different, more straight-ahead punk rock, the stuff we love here on the show. So how did Shore City become a band? Definitely uh, started, you know, me and Jack, we started a band called For the Bad. And yeah, we just a while ago. Yeah, was we just five years ago now? Yeah, probably five years. We uh, kept it going. You, you know, we still wanted to play. And just over time, we tried out a couple drummers. They were all, uh, they all couldn't hang. <laughs> and I knew one more dude. We brought in DK. But that started with his original band, which was Ocean Roots. I was actually the conga player. Nice. Yep. How do you go conga to punk? He got me. <laughs> and, that, and, you know, that's for, for many Drastic local changes. bands and for me personally. That, that whole, dr- as you can see by my luxurious cocktail kit in the corner over here, uh, it, it's difficult to get that drummer to to gel right now. Did you got you guys? It seems like had that same problem where it was difficult to to find a solid drummer. It was I'd more like uh, you know they they just couldn't hang with us. <laughs> we we played too fast for them. Right. They, you know they wanted to do something a little slow, and we're just like, no, sorry. It's kind of it's just stuff that people don't do anymore. Right. It's just not around, and we really want to bring it back and keep it alive and. Took DK just a couple tries, man, and he's right up on track with that. Sometimes you get a drummer to try out, and uh, and they're uh, you know you want them to to be Charlie Watts, and they're trying to be Keith Moon. <laughs> yeah, we get a little bit of both. <laughs> so yeah. you guys have you know fairly new band or fairly new band in this lineup, hitting uh, some solid shows and some solid shows coming up. We'll talk about that in a bit, but tell us what the reception has been because as you said, this style really. Uh, isn't quite around as it used to, as I hate to use this term, back in my day. <laughs> exactly. It's alive. It's out there, I swear. It is. DK Entertainment and Shore City are bringing that back, so just be prepared. Punk scene's coming. The great people we get to play to, we, I don't think we've ever had someone come up to us and say, you guys aren't fun, you guys aren't good. Yeah, we, we've only had positive feedback from pretty much every crowd we've ever played for. And that and goes like... It's a pretty wide array. It goes and from old people, like, you know, senior citizens to... It, it really does. Clubs. <laughs> it really does. And people love it. We have, you like, know? we have, like, 75-year-olds, like, telling us, like, we're awesome. And yeah. then we got, like, a 16-year-old kid, like, this doesn't have... Like, he, that's what he wants. That's what they're looking yeah. for. It's like, well, like, just like we were when we were kids. That's, and we, I, we talked about that with a guest a few weeks ago. I forget who it was, but there's a whole generation of folks that came up on Molly Cyrus uh, and things of that nature and haven't actually even experienced. Who? Oh exactly. Oh. <laughs> they haven't exactly, haven't yet experienced, uh, you know, good old-fashioned rock and roll, which is kind of the category that I would put you guys in. I would say to put them in the middle of a pit, in like, at, at like a no-effect show, and just... Have them really experience it. Like that's what we're trying to bring yeah. back. We want we want that pit where everyone's buds and they just help each other out, but they still right. like kick the shit out yeah, of each yeah, other, smash <laughs> each other in the face. Yeah. The, the, the uh, obligatory, uh, you know, little tiny skinny petite female in the middle of the pit. Yeah. That's yeah. always great Getting to see. Tossed around, yeah, <laughs> it's the best. 
So that's a perfect segue because the next uh, band I have queued up, I would also say, falls into this category. Then we're going to hear some recorded Shore City right after that. But before that, we're going to hear from Locals, the sweet release, Bottles and Models, the name of this one. You are tuned in to The Tony Jones Show. Yeah. 